And I, I'm, I'm real proud of all of you for coming out here to show them that we mean business. If you declare war on us, it's your declaration. You are going to be surprised shitless when I do this right now. When you do what? I keep it all fucked up. What happened, Vicky? Somebody fucked me up. What happened? Vicky? I really need your help. And I know why I did what I did last night when I was in Julian's van. He, and I remember because my pants were half off and uh, shit wasn't right. I told him no. So why the fuck is he doing that? The horrifying true story of seven hypnotists with way too much in common. Seven different hypnotists that have tortured and just, they destroyed this poor girl's life. Here's the list. Hypnotist number one was Josh. Small world, huh, man? What's up, boy? How you doing? Good. How you doing? Right. I want to talk to you about something. Hello. Your hypnotist, your hypnotist training. What? You always used to talk about hypnosis. The redhead that started her on this fucking everybody hypnotizer and rape her whenever they feel like it path. You always used to talk about hypnosis. Are you? Wait a minute. Are you recalling this with some movie and some some you know crazy psychedelic trip that you were on sometime? That there was a little leprechaun in, and, you know, there's a correlation there and you're figuring it all no, out. No, you talked own. in depth about uh, to you. Yeah. Okay, At your house, you talked in depth about knowing about putting people under hypnosis. That was followed by John and Johnny, who had similar names so Johnny could rape her when he convinced her that she that he was John, who she was dating. And my pants came down and thick went in and I said, oh, John, thinking it was John. And it wasn't. By the time I figured this out was when I realized because he was going down on me and there were two teeth missing in the front of his fucking face. That was it. So you thought it was John who you were dating, but it was really it was John. Re I, yep, I thought it was John, and it was found out later it was Johnny. And even when I found out later, I confronted him later even too, and said, I can't believe that was you, dude. And you should have knew better, because I said John, not Johnny. Can I tell you that? When we have the problem, I said, I'll give you your fucking money back. Go find a fucking place. You come in and said, can't let's stay. I can't find the place. I'll give your money back. By law, you yeah. can't do that. See? Yeah, this is why I said I didn't want this talk. These people don't want to have a fucking talk. There is no talk. Yeah, I know. They just eat up all my food and all that shit. And tell Nobody's eating me, your fucking nothing's food. Nothing's a problem. Yeah, See, a you, lot John. of our food disappeared. Name it. Make a list. Okay. I'll go to the fucking no, grocery wait. store. See, you say one fucking thing, I'll knock you the fuck out. One fuck thing off, about what? Johnny? Don't even Calm fucking down. talk to me, no. stupid. Don't I'm already see? at my wits end with you. Why? Hold on. Give, Give me one, one reason. Give him a reason. Don't even why? clean Raise your toes. Dishes. No, I didn't like to like no reason. Stupid. Just give me a reason why I'm a problem for you. You gotta stop talking. No, I just want to know what his reason is. No, dude, you want to act violent and shit? I'll get the cops in here. I'm fucking sick of this shit. Tell me what I've done. I'd like to know so I can correct my behavior. No, no Grabbing problem. my shit, taking you my wheelchair away, talking to us, or you're touching my shit. Who grabbed my monitor without fucking permission? She said you said it was okay. We could use this stuff. You Who's told me I could use that stuff. Who's spinning my fucking pots and pans? Who's spit on my curtains? Who's spinning on the fucking deck in there? Who pisses all over Who this takes, house? Who takes two and fucking himself. hours? And everything. Mm. You piss all over your patio and you spit and well, piss about my spit? I piss off the side of my deck. Yeah. <laughs> no, you I don't. don't. piss on the you deck. You pee all over yourself. It's windy as fuck out there, dumbass. Hey. Yeah, right. Fuck. Oh, yeah. 
I'm not gonna do this, sir. I wanna help you guys out. I wanted to not have this talk! Don't talk to me about nothing! Uh, That's what I was doing! You just got two weeks and then you guys That's got what go. the plan was! Let's go back to the plan! See? Dude, I've been dealing with these fucking crackhead assholes and the tweaker bitch! Oh. You, why didn't you tell him no? I didn't tell him no at the time because I thought it was John. You didn't tell Johnny no because you thought it was John. Yeah, I didn't tell it. Johnny no because I thought it was John. Okay. How long are you in the service? Two years long. Two years? When did you get out? I did my training, my AIT, and then I came back to the reserve unit. And some shit happened. I couldn't make a couple of my meetings. And my, when my unit got deployed, they had to let me go. Let you go? They just released you? like? Yeah. Because I wasn't, I wasn't re-qualified with my bayonet yeah, my and my rifle and my grenades. Yeah. Then there's Dusty and Jace. <laughs> Stop it! Fuck, dude! Fuck! What is wrong with what? you, dude? What's up, dude? I said, stop doing what you're doing. Stop doing that because it's gonna fucking have repercussions. When Jace needed a vacation, she switched from Victoria. Jace only called her Victoria. Baby, Victoria, stop. Hey, baby, Victoria. But Dusty only called her Vicky. What's up, man? What's going on? <laughs> What's that? So she'd be all in love with Jace and then they'd switch her into Vicky and she'd hang out with Dusty, number four, for a week or two, and then Jace would come back, all refreshed and tan from his vacation. I have videotape of her mother's birthday when I came to meet you guys at the park. She called her grandmother on the phone, okay, to set up a, a, a meeting, and you touched her on the leg and she said you should go. And that, you touching her on the leg and telling her she should go, made her switch to her other personality. What do you mean? I'm trying to see my son. Oh. So, maybe we could do that. Are you in the neighborhood? No. Why? Kind of. Why? Well, why? Because you said you wanted to see him. Is that what you said? Yes. Go. Oh. Stop. Seriously. Go. Oh. Let me call you back. What? Let me call you back. Let me call you back. Oh, damn. Kind of depressed, fool. I don't want to fucking even move. I don't think I've even left this spot. You want to see your son real quick? She was on the phone with the grandmother to set up a meeting to see her baby. Right, and I said you should go see your baby. And that immediately triggered her. That triggered her to go to the other personality. And then all of a sudden, she's like, I, I can't go, I can't go. Remember when I had that van for a few days, yeah. for a week? And then you guys were, were all at the storage unit, you and her were in the storage unit, and I was sitting outside. Yeah. I heard her say, quote, don't snap your fingers at me, I'm not a dog. And then you did one big, huge snap of your fingers, and then her head dropped to her chest, and then it raised back up, and she said, what do I do? And you told her to go to sleep, and then she laid down and went to sleep. Can you explain that to me? Snap, I might have clapped. No, you snapped your fingers because, yes. That's as loud as I can snap. Yes, right after she told you to stop snapping your fingers out. Because the three guys she was with before you, I all I caught them all putting her under hypnosis. Okay, well I don't know if hypnosis was but. Well then why did she I'm tell you? I'm a convict, bro. I don't read any books and I'm not into hypnosis like well, this. Well then how did you put her under hypnosis? I didn't put her under hypnosis. I watched you do it. Okay, how'd you watch it if we were behind the curtain? You weren't behind the curtain. You were sitting. There was no curtain up then. You were sitting. She had the fucking. Uh, this was before the curtain was there. You were both sitting. That curtain was there the first time I. Ever well, she didn't have it closed that moment then, okay, because well, I, I heard her say that. Under hypnosis. I watched. Trust me, if I had somebody under hypnosis set, she would not be acting like she is right now. Well, you guys. She would not call you stressed out. If my hypnosis would be good attitude all day long, trust and believe that. Well, I wish that would be the situation. Well, fucking. That's what I'm telling you, your, your hypnosis things. I know I know you got fucking, your imagination is fucking huge. I watched you do it. Okay, well, I'm telling you, your imagination is huge. Okay. You got a very broad imagination. Mm -hmm. But I don't know nothing about hypnosis. I'm coming over here as a man, trying to talk to you as another man. Okay. 
and, and I'm telling yeah, you I what. Yeah, I told her, yeah, I was gonna come over here and be violent, but I didn't fucking. I got so, so much. Where is she going, now? What's she's she walking doing? over here. But I got so much fucking shit going on in my head that the last thing I'm fucking worried about is violence. Then I heard him say, and your Jew father. So I turned my camera on. See what happens next. Tells me she hates me and all this, dude. Uh -huh. All right, I go and get her motherfucking name blasted on me. Uh huh. I'm fucking dedicated to that bitch. So why'd you just come after me? Baby, Victoria, stop. Hey, baby, Victoria, baby, stop. Baby, stop it. Stop. 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 He's violent. He's attacked me three times. I've shown the deputies three different videos of him physically attacking me. She, he, she's, he, they, deputies have gone over there and seen a black eye on her and just decided not to do anything about that. Um, and now she's calling again saying, please call the police. So if you call okay. her and he sees a call from 911, he might hurt her. Well, it doesn't pop up as 911 when we call people, so that wouldn't be a problem. Okay. So we'll send somebody out there again, okay? That'd be great. And... Thank you. Yeah. He's a federal agent, and that's why I'm not telling you where they are right now, because unless, in, until this is going to come out that he's a federal agent, undercover, torturing us, I heard her say, don't snap your fingers at me, I'm not a dog. And then I saw this. Just a big snap. And her head went like this. But no physical contact. Can you listen? Snapping. Please listen to what I'm telling you. Okay? Listen. Very carefully. This is what she did. He snapped her f his fingers, her head dropped, okay. it raised up slowly. She said, what do I do now? He said, go to sleep. She laid down and went to sleep. Okay. okay. Now, he is the fourth boyfriend in a row okay. that I've... Can, can we pause you? Yeah. So, he hypnotized her, he didn't actually forcibly hit her or anything? That's what we're getting at. We need some clarification. Yeah, I, I'm, so I'm talking about how, I'm talking about how he analysis. hypnotized her. Okay. Yes. And he's now the, the fourth boyfriend in a row who I've caught hypnotizing her. I don't know You're, that hypnotizing her. Hypnosis putting, is assault. Putting somebody intentionally into hypnosis state so you can abuse them is... that That's just... I, I, that, I don't think there's a criminal statute for that, to be honest with you. Really? Number six and seven, Julian and Patrick. And I know why I did what I did last night when I was in Julian's van. He, and I remember because my pants were half off and uh, shit wasn't right. I told him no. So why the fuck is he doing that? Anybody listening to the true story of why Victoria gets raped and robbed on a regular basis? It's a hell of a story and Julian's one of the stars of it. Why'd you say you thought he was a cop? I do. Huh? I think he's a cop. You think Julian's a cop? Yeah. So 
So why are you dating? <laughs> Interesting, right? True, that's it. Because it must be a anyway. That interesting is all that's true with true. No no no, this is real shit. I just want to life. You don't know me. What's going on, Vicky? Even though everybody's got fucking cash, everybody wants me to ask you for money. Everyone wants you to ask me for money? Yes, even though I don't even have fucking money. I don't even have money, do I? I only have $10 on my fucking SSI card. So why do you guys want me to ask him for my $10? Okay, then that means you're just going to be my man and, and give and to share your money. Sugar daddy, I like. And where are you going to live? Huh? Where are you going to live? I'm going to live... Probably in his van for a minute until I can get a rent room. But other than that, I don't give a fuck if I have to go to a tech. Honest to God. I know. And I've already found, because I get these weird calls, I mean not calls, text messages on my phone from this chick that had my phone. And I've already noticed a couple of places even hitting me up about room for rent, so uh, I'm not joking. I think I got this. You just gotta help me out with it, and you make the bank, so you gotta help me out a lot more than you have. Okay, and we're gonna go to the gym together and get ourselves fit. Do you have um, FaceTime right now? Can you... Can you get on the phone and do that? Well, park. Park. <laughs> Why are people doing this to me? They're doing it to me, Vicky. They've been fucking with you for so long just to try to piss me off. I mean, there's no other explanation for what the fuck's going on here. Why would the man who's sitting next to you let you sit in his car with shit in your pants for five minutes while he told you you were nothing so you wouldn't answer my phone call? I don't know if you have to show yourself as like that. I see your issues. And what I'm telling you is, well, we all find them out what we all uh, are being mad about. Huh? Yeah, you're special. So you're not that special. Mm -hmm. What? That's what he's saying to you as I'm calling on Facebook. He doesn't want her to show her face? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Julian? Yeah, Julian. Heard what you say when you didn't think anything was taping you. Five minutes. Oh, I'll tell him. Let me tell him. Let me tell him. Give him the phone. God. I'm on speaker. I'm on speaker. Yeah, buddy. What's up, bro? How you doing? Yeah, you, you left a message on my voicemail, but you didn't know about it? So it's you spending... F tell me, tell me. Yeah, five minutes of you telling Victoria she's nothing, so she shouldn't answer the phone, even though she had shit in your pants, and she was sitting right next to you in your car, and you needed my money to get in a hotel room. And yet you spent five minutes telling her not to answer the phone. And he's completely controlling her. She's sitting right there in front of this and not picking it up. And she was sitting right next to you in your car and you needed my money to get in a hotel room. And yet you spent five minutes telling her not to answer the phone. You kind of have, I don't know how you don't remember that. So do you just like the smell of shit, Julian? Is that it? You love the smell of shit? 
No, Vicky, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. You never wanted to do the can, dude. Josh and Johnny put the first can in your hand. At your house, you talked in depth about knowing about putting people under hypnosis. She threw up and yelled and screamed all night. Again. The guys that did this to her, the gang of motherfuckers who did this to her. It was Josh, John, Johnny who raped her. Literally, I want to be smart with those revolvers. We want to get her brains. Vicky, if you want to be smart, stop putting the can that they keep using to fucking control you into your mouth. Joshua used the can to hypnotize you when you lived with him and John. Remember John and Joshua? The redhead and the fucking army guy that used to give... You have to stop. On You You have to stop, Vicky. I know, I'm stop. I want to stop. You got your feet... You got no teeth left. What the fuck, dude? Fuck. What happened? There's the hand. You don't know what happened. That's true. Yeah. So I'm imagining that the guy sitting next to you keeps hypnotizing you, but you can't remember how your teeth got fucking broken. Oh, okay. I don't even know what happened. Can I get the fuck out of here? I need to get out of here. I want to get out of here. Okay? Okay. I really want to get out of here. Ah, I hear you. I really want to get out of here. I hear you, Vicky. I've already bought you two Greyhound tickets and you don't get on the bus. Oh, I can seven. <laughs> that sounds great. Okay. Okay. This is happening. This is happening. It better. Because we're, we're getting too old to keep having more extra chances, dude. I know. We've got to make 30. this happen. I'm 30. You know that? Yeah, I know. I'm, four, I'm 48. Vicky. I'm going to be 50 in a year and a half. Well, I can't keep doing this, dude. you got to get your shit together now. Right I am, now. It's happening. I, I love so. you. It's I, love gonna you. Happen. I love you too, man. All right, I will call you on Facebook. Okay, and you got to start trimming that fucking beard, man. What the fuck? Well, it's, <laughs> so, it's so fucking cold here. I don't want to trim anything until it warms up. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll kill you. <laughs> you just look like a crazy terrorist. Like, like, I love you. I love you too. I love you so much, man. All right. All right. I'm gonna. Call, I'll start calling you Wednesday when I wake up, and you just call me back when you when you get the message, and then I'll buy your ticket. Okay. Okay. I'm, this is happening. All right. Thank you. All right, I, love you I love you, Vicky. I I don't expect to ever see you again, Vicky. I expect that you're gonna die in Lancaster, and I'm gonna have to. Just fucking deal with it. Because you're not... Because you're not getting your shit together, Vicky. Look next... Look at the fucking piece of shit sitting next to you. You... I spent $11,000 to get you away from that motherfucker. And there you are. Right next to him. You don't even know me, cunt. You hear me? You don't even know me, you piece of shit. A narc says what? The fuck is wrong with you? A narc says what? A narc. You're such a fucking cunt. No, you're just doing this for the fun of it. You narc piece of shit. Why are you being with each other like that? That's weird. Isn't it weird? You don't even know me, you piece of shit. A narc says what? The fuck is wrong with you? A narc says what? A narc. You're such a fucking cunt. No, you're just doing this for the fun of it. You narc piece of shit. The guys before you fattened her up. The ones that made her lose custody of Stone that she was living with. For, for weeks and weeks, they kept cooking stews and steaks. She kept joking. She's like, it's like they're fattening me up. And then one day, they just became tweakers. After fattening her up and making her body image really fucked up, they just became tweakers in the house. So what did she do? She did tweak. 
and then she lost her son. So you want to come to me as a man, I'm going to tell you what I've seen year after year. And if I saw you as separate from that pattern, that would be great. The only person I saw separate from that pattern was a guy who, who she's known for years. And what happened? A cop moves into the house with them, gets them all tweaked out, breaks up their relationship. The one guy who didn't fuck with her, someone moves into the house and fucks up the whole thing. Now you come into her life. Now you come into her life literally the day after your best friend steals everything I own. Okay? At the same time. Now hold on, hold on. Yeah. As soon as I found out, because you got the hat back, okay? Yeah. As soon as what happened when I got the hat back? Look, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. Victoria approached me in a park. This is how I met Victoria, okay? Yeah. She came up to me in a park and asked me for a cigarette. Yeah, I know. All right? That's how me and Victoria, as soon as she told me mm -hmm. that you were her stepdad, mm -hmm. all right? I literally, you can ask her, I confronted Miracle. I grabbed him by the back of the neck and said, everything you stole from that dude, you can do whatever you can to get it back. And then what happened? Huh? And then what happened? Every single holiday since the day you met her, you have made our life a living hell. On her, on my birthday, Mother's Day, you made her cry five times. What kind of boyfriend makes, you know she lost her kid and you make her cry five times on Mother's Day, which just happens to be my birthday. Five times. So come to me as a man and explain that. People have arguments. Now I'm asking to forgive, but not to forget, okay? Because it's, you mean forgive, but don't forget. About what? The shit that's happened. The shit that went down on, on uh, July 4th? July 4th, well, yeah, okay. Another holiday. It was actually before the holiday. No, I know, but she found out on July 4th. Right, okay, well. I was Numerous fucking right times, here. dude. Numerous times. Yes. If you're gonna have my dog outside, uh -huh. fucking watch him. If you're I not am be watching him. Apparently not, dumbass, because he got out. How? How did he get out? What? Don't hit me, because I'm fucking sleeping, dumbass. You're the one with him outside. You fucking retard. Don't, let, don't you want to know how he got out? So you don't have I to. I know how he got out, how? motherfucker. Throughout the, the house, homeboy. Throughout the house. Look at the fucking house, you that fucking hole. retard. He went under the hole. Yes, and there's another hole on the backside, you fucking idiot. Well, he couldn't get to that one. All he's got to do is go underneath the house, you fucking jackass. Well, that day Go look at the fucking hole by my window. No, I know how they get out, but Tank has never left before just now. He just left now, motherfucker. Why? He's left numerous times. Uh, he's never left since I've been here. Does that... I don't understand, dude. Oh, fuck. You didn't just randomly meet her at that fucking park, dude. You what met you her... What are you talking about? You were standing there when Mark fucking pushed her away, and you were standing right there. I didn't even know her, though, is what I'm saying. I had never even seen Victoria until that day at the park. I would never laid Which happened to be the same, was it the same day that your best friend stole all my stuff? Or was it a day after? Was I don't, it? I'm not sure, but. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Just let the pain go, Vicky, let the pain go. Let it go. You have her sedated now, of course. When she wakes up from that, she's going to be fine. And she's going to be asking for a cigarette and saying she wants to get out of there. Because she doesn't have a medical problem, she there's a gang of five guys who have been hypnotizing her, and with a post-hypnotic suggestion, they have get her to think there's something in her stomach she has to throw up. And I've been documenting for this for four different hospitals over the last three years. Are they bringing her food or should we can we go get food? Oh, we, they're gonna bring her. Okay. I don't believe that, so I'm gonna go get me cafeteria food because I've been waiting for a good minute. Can she go get some? Or yeah, I mean, really. Just, no, that, that can, uh, Zofran's you making can, her hungry. You can go, but the patient can't really okay. go out of the unit. In case your patients keep not, walking into no. that. So I'll call you and tell you what they have there. That's yeah. some ridiculous shit, man. No. I'm still in the hospital. Really I know, but on. you can roam the whole, the whole hospital. Well, then let me have a security guard come with me. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm honestly, uh, I've been having the worst service here ever. Mm. And I've been documenting for this for four different hospitals over the last three years. So if you, if she seems fine, say mamas. 
Mamas is the personality they switch her into so they can, so she gets sick. Now I've been dealing with this, a year ago this happened over and over again and it stopped. And all of a sudden the boyfriend who's part of this gang called her mamas again two days ago. She gets off the phone with him and she started throwing up and she basically hasn't stopped until she comes out of it. They, you, you, same thing happened at the other hospital down the street. We went in, they, she was screaming like a lunatic, throwing up all over everything. They sedated her. She woke up. She was fine. She wanted to leave. So I'm telling you there's a psychological thing going on here and I can show you the pictures of the throwing up and the screaming and yelling all night long, but this, something needs, you can't just release her. Something needs to be investigated here because, well, do you have a psychologist on staff? Okay. Now she has multiple personalities, yeah, so they so manipulate, so the, 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 the dark side personality does things for them. Where else, and then where the else do you know about Josh? There's, she, has, she has multiple person. she may say bi uh, bipolar, but that's just what her mother's shorthand for was. My uncle's bipolar. Victoria is not bipolar. She has multiple personality disorders. She has six personalities. And these guys manipulated, Mama's is the name of our dead cat. And they manipulated her to think she has a new personality called Mamas. And when they call her Mamas and she switches into that, she yells and screams and throws up for hours on end. Hi, baby. I miss you so much, Mama. I miss you, baby. I miss you, angel. I miss everything about you, Mama. Oh, my God. Why? Because Jace did this to you! Just like he did last time! Snap the fuck out of it! Whatever he said, make it stop! He said something to you on the phone, you've been sick ever since! He did this a year ago too, dude! I got it all on tape! You have to snap into the, another personality or it won't stop! I mean, you know, we did a CT scan of her belly and, and it looks okay, but the issue you think is that she's just under the influence of these well, people. And, and you know what? I, I she's calling me right now. Um, can can I answer her? Can, I don't want to put you on hold, but she's probably freaking out. Is she awake now? Apparently. Uh, yes, she is. I can see her. She's up in bed. Yeah, she's. Let me let me. You can talk to no, her. No, she. You, you, I, I'll call her back. I'll call her back. Um. So so I don't know what to do because if you tell her I said that, she's gonna flip out and start yelling and screaming about me. But I, I, I mean, it's gonna. We'll see you. She'll see you again tomorrow. Is what I'm saying because this has happened over and over again. I don't. Well, I mean, is there a way we could get her to see someone even for mental health care? I mean, not just in the hospital, but going forward. I mean, they, well, they that would that would be great. But she's not going to do it based on me saying this. That's why while she's in there, if you have someone who could put her under hypnosis and ask her what's going on, this will all come out. I and mean, this is a gang up. They didn't just hit. They yeah. drugged her with dust off. I have videotape footage of her being all drugged out on dust off, and they manipulate her personalities. You, I, why didn't you tell him no? I didn't tell him no at the time because I thought it was John. You didn't tell Johnny no because you thought it was John. Yeah, I didn't tell it. Johnny no because I thought it was John. They used this creepy image to terrify her and control her. It was sitting right next to the television and she was petrified of it. You made a phone call to Josh and now we're fighting when we were just fine before? You make every, you make, you think everyone in my life and uh, that I meet as a friend is a cop, so you create problems, so what the fuck do I say? What, what am I supposed to do, dude? Honestly, I, I am to respect my friends. You make problems. I think he's a cop. You think Julian's a cop? Yeah. I cannot multicast! You talking? He's talking? All he's talking? All the talking? I took out, that kind of fucks in my head! When I have to multicast, but everybody talking in my fucking ears! He's talking, you're talking, and I'm like supposed to like get to know all this shit! It's kind of insane, I'm going insane, dude! No, you're, <laughs> you're not, sweetie. He's fucking with you. You're not imagining it. He's been fucking with you the whole time, sweetheart! Notice how great you were doing when you weren't seeing Julian? Look, I, I, keep, I, keep, I keep certain things with me to make sure I'm okay. Okay, like what? What do you have with you? Uh, like, uh, right now, I've been holding on to this thing that looks like, uh, looks like it's for, for my protection. 
it looks like a little cat thing, and uh, it's like tiny little brass knuckle thingies. Oh, good. But I don't want to ever have to use it. I just have it in case I ever was in a scary predicament. Yeah. I am worried. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I would like to be in Missouri and try to get my life right. I was there. When I was in there, when I was out there with you, I got my weight back. Yeah. Things were okay. You yeah. were about to help me with surgery with my mouth. Yeah. Stuff like that. And I need that kind of shit because my mouth's all fucked up. Yeah. It's fucked up. Really fucked up now because you're talking in an accent. Yeah, and, I got a, and I got a huge lump on the back of my head. Don't even know why. You don't know how you got a lump on the back of your head? I got a huge ass lump on the back of my head. Don't even know why. Is that why you're talking in that weird accent? Me? I don't know. That might just be because I'm around. I don't know. I have had shit happen to me and have had no idea or regulation of what happened. 